Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again to a new episode on how to. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon so you can get notified when I publish new videos. And also don't forget to like and share. By sharing, I'll be able to create more content for you. So guys, without any delay, let's start the tutorial. Right, so uh, here we go. Uh, this is the website that I got here. It's an e-commerce. Now, if you do like, a, you know, like I do, for example, I build websites website you want to take the amount of work you do at minimum for example you know there are so small details for example the end date for example you know sometimes the year goes by and the customer calls you and say hey it still say 2019 but we are in 2020 so let me show you how quickly you can actually resolve this issue by installing a simple plugin and of course it's free so let's go back to the wordpress dashboard you're going to add new and you want to search for this easy to use and free short code so i'm going to copy this is the one you want to search I'm going to paste it I'm going to press enter and is the first one here so when you click on install and then once has been uh install it you activate it so let me move this one here and as you can see that is done let me click on this and let me show you the details it's very simple and those are for example the short code you're going to use y for the year d for the day m for the month c for the copyright and you can use in conjunction as you wish so let's go back again to the um, back end. I'm going to the appearance. This is, for example, for what I do. I got Elementor installed. I go to Editor and Footer uh, Blocks. And I'm going to edit with Elementor. Now, let me put this one here. Let me open the website front end. As you can see here, we got the copyright and the C and 2019. So if I go back, and I click on this block here. This is what we have. Now, of course, we can change this. We can say copyright if you wanted to. And I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to add, just adding the actual brackets. Again, it's up to how you want to do it. I'm going to put the C here and the Y here. I want to make sure that it looks okay. As you can see, it's already been updated. Okay, here. I'm going to update, then I'm going to the front end, I'm going to refresh, and as you can see, it's, you know, it's already been updated. And this is valid for every single page. For example, if I go to the shop, as you can see, 2020, about page, and as you can see, everything has been updated. Now, I also run many other shortcodes, as you can see here, for example, HFE, Again, there are many plugins you can actually use that will make your life a lot, lot easier. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did to show you how simple this is. After I just looked at my analytics, I think I'm going to make more WordPress related tutorials. This is what it looks like the my followers want to see. They want to see less and less open source. Of course, the channel is open source channel, so I'm gonna still going to show you some open source applications down the road. But I think I'm going to focus a little bit more on what my followers want to watch. And this is on WordPress related and web design related tutorials. So thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.